Um, I suppose I suppose I just wanted to speak about the vision of the project and uh, where it came from. So two years ago, uh, I began my work inside an ABC, and as James had said, uh, they were looking for the right opportunity and the right people and and the right time for to conduct a project around sport. And I suppose I come from I'm sport mad. I love my sport. It's been a big part of my life. And I've been always keen on having positive experiences and having something, as James said, it's a vocation, something that you'll do forever. Um, I suppose then it came about the idea of maybe I submit an application to get some funding and here we are today. So I was lucky enough to be supported really, really well. Um, you know, sport has the opportunity to provide people, you know, with many, many benefits and, you know, with positive experience and promoting that inclusion, we can we can see this happen. Um, so we're here to develop um, an enhanced co coaching capacity uh, in, in changing behaviours and promoting an inclusive environment. Um, and that, that was just my vision for the project. Um, I'd just like to hand over to my colleague Brendan O'Keefe now uh, from the University of Limerick, who will speak on the goals of our project. Thanks, William Cullum. Um, I'm under strict orders to stay right behind this microphone so everyone can hear me. And as a teacher, I've, I've a tendency just to veer off. So if someone sees me leaning to the side, you might just keep me in check. Um, uh, look, I, 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 over the course of the next two or three minutes, I'll just provide a brief overview of some of the key aims and objectives of the BEFORE project. Uh, but before I do, I want to start by, by thanking uh, the team in ABC, James, Cullum, Siobhan and, and, and all the rest of the team over the course of the past couple of months since I've started collaborating with you. I've seen the work you do and I know uh, the centre will make a great lead for this project. So my background is physical education, teacher education, and uh, the principles of sound and inclusive pedagogy that we promote with our students every single week, for me, are very much the same principles that should be promoted on the sports fields, uh, no matter what sport you play. And a lot of these will, will form the bedrock of many of the resources that we, uh, that we will produce throughout the course of the, the project. So, when I'm thinking about the, the, the aims and objectives of before specifically, it, it's, it's quite simple. Our aim really is to improve participants, whether that be coaches and players' experiences of sport. And oftentimes we hear the phrase that uh, in, in projects like this that we, we really want to achieve impact from the grassroots up. But that is actually quite literally a key objective of the BEFORE project. So our football pitches, our basketball courts, our athletics tracks, that is where we want to, to achieve impact with, with, the, with some of the key work packages that, uh, that I'll outline for you. So those work packages. So we've divided the project itself is made up of four key work packages. The first of which is going to be based on a report on research and best practice. And as James mentioned, we're, we're, we're joined by, by wonderful colleagues from four partner institutes, four, four other European countries, and we're going to take a good look at what is best practice in those four countries and try and uh, uh, develop a report based on that. Work package two is going to focus on the training, a training needs questionnaire. So we want to ask the coaches, the people on the ground, delivering material, what do they need? What are their professional development needs? And another key pillar to, to work package two is going to be a focus on player voice. So those that are involved, um, whether at a younger level or, or, or adults too, uh, to, to analyse their experiences of, uh, of bullying uh, in sport. Work packages one and two will then very much form uh, uh, what, what we'll be focusing on for work package three, which is the learning and training course content development. So bringing it all together uh, and, and formulating what we hope will ultimately result in an interactive uh, online uh, resource, suite of resources for coaches that, that, that can be used, and again, as I keep mentioning, can be used by those delivering material uh, on the ground. Okay, so again, a key, a key element of this 
project is we're going to look at some of best practice, some best practice approaches to uh, inclusive practices across, across three key pillars. And those three pillars are at a gender level, uh, at an additional need or special need level, and finally then for migrants and minorities. And throughout the course of this morning, we'll hear lots more information from people uh, that specialise in these fields through some of our keynote speakers, uh, and, and we're, we're really looking forward to that. So in summary then, um, ultimately, we're working towards a far-reaching interdisciplinary anti-bullying education for sports coaches program that will lead to better experiences for all and genuine impact from the ground up. So that is ultimately our aim for this project over the course of the next 20, uh, two years, just slightly over two years.